Good evening, everyone. I'm just um, here in Perth, Western Australia, stuck with the restrictions. And as you can see, the city lights in the background and uh, unfortunately couldn't make it tonight to the event. But uh, I am trying to do a video here to uh, honor Ed, our friend, and no uh, one's here to uh, try and uh, say hello. Um, okay, sit down, Gooch. Sit, sit, good boy. Good boy. Um, just would like to say a few words because Amy and Camden and I couldn't be there tonight to um, honour Ed. I know we spoke about it many times and last year we were trying to get there but couldn't get there because of the um, COVID restrictions um, and that whatever. So just wanted to say um, hope you're having a good night and I know Ed would be truly honoured to get this award because he was very humble and never wanted to fuss about anything and just wanted the job done. And um, he was very respected throughout the world with his um, achievements. I'd just like to say um, a few stories about how um, we met at Moomba, um, was in the 80s, and uh, was helping out with the coursework with Tony Cunningham, and my dad was measuring the ropes and everything when we were trying to get the course ready for the event. And um, Ed said, suggested that I come over there to help with Jeff Carrington as well and a few others to um, set up the courseworks in America with the um, Pro Tour stops and Masters and Nationals etc etc. So anyway I uh, went over there and the first stop was the Marine World and um, I loved animals a lot and it did as well so he got this picture taken with the big kitty with the lion and tiger there so he was happy about that he said that was one of his favorite events and then we went to the Masters and um, on the way up to the Masters there were a beer stop and pizza stop. He said, here's the keys. And I said, you do know that we drive on the other side of the road. He said, you'll be right. I said, how far is it? This is about six or seven hours. I was like, wow. Okay, so I mean, it's the Bourbon and the U-Haul truck behind and um, driving up there and uh, stop at the rest stop. And he says, um, no, you can't stop here because um, the British tourists are getting shot um, with the rental cars and uh, best if you don't stop here and so I really need to go ahead so I went and then he um, was out the front with his 454 Magnum I was like wow so um, that was Ed and then uh, we stopped at G Davis's house up on the way up there I remember and um, saw him and then we went to the ski site and I was quite impressed with the stadium and everything and put the course in and I said to Ed um, where's the big scoreboard, you know, the video and everything. He said, oh no, that's, I said, we have one at Moomba. He said, oh no, we wouldn't be able to do that. It would be too expensive and not in our budget and Channel 7 provide that for the big screen. So I said, oh, it's a shame because it provides the skiers with the scores and spectators with all the video on that, on that, it's really great. And he said, yeah, it would be amazing, but I don't think we'd be able to get one. So. I noticed the next year they had one built, so um, I was really, really happy about that because I, I thought it deserved it with the stadium and everything there. And then how the pre-gates came about was um, my dad was 20 times national boat driver and I was very particular on the um, driving of people into the course and coming in on an angle and not the boat speed right and people were complaining about it at Pro Tour stops as well with the competitions in the short run in the lake. So, so I might be able to fix that. And I said, oh, how? And he said, um, put some boys in and we'll guide the boat in and try and get it straight. So that's how the pre-gates got done after many hours with the luckiest boat trying to get the right distance right and uh, the boys and everything. And uh, Ed was notorious for making me go into the reeds with his sailor light. Uh, with the gators and the reeds, I was really petrified about the um, alligators there of course and he'd say oh one one more inch this way or half inch that way or towards me or back and of course uh, I'd say there's some gators here Ed and they that be right they won't won't eat you that be right so um I was a bit weary of them of course and um at the Thriller and Hydrilla down in Westmont Beach where the uh, Andy Maple broke his world record that was amazing 
uh, Cancun, we went to Cancun and the typhoon and washed the course away and the jump a mile away. So that was pretty eventful. We managed to get that back together with Jack Walker and CW the next day for the competition. So that was amazing. Um, yeah, it's just a shame uh, Amy and Camden and I couldn't be there. We, we really um, had planned to. And um, just wish um, everyone a good night and uh, a big congratulations to all the recipients. I know Abe would be proud of them as well. And uh, thanks Hank for putting on the evening, getting the museum ready and everything, and the committee members for his nomination. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a good night. I don't have a beer here, Ed, for you to have a beer because uh, my parents uh, had the rule no alcohol in the house. So I, I still have that today. So. Um, we'll just say woof from Snowball and I and um, yeah just hope we all see you soon. Good night. <laughs>